We used game cameras to watch the activity of rattlesnake mothers and their babies during our research. Remarkably, it appears that while mom stays home most of the time, the babies regularly go out and explore. This beautiful timber rattlesnake in front of me is Diana. At least that's what we call her. And we've been following her around for about three years now to learn more about her. And in that time, Diana has mostly been in recovery mode because that first year we tracked her, she undertook one of the most energy intensive events in a rattlesnake's life. She gave birth. Timber rattlesnakes don't lay eggs. They're ovoviviparous. This means that they have eggs, but these eggs are retained inside the body until after they hatch meaning they actually give live birth. This allows females to micromanage the temperature of their developing young, but it also makes life a lot harder for those females. Shaded forests can't provide gravid females enough sun to properly incubate their eggs, so they must move into hotter, more exposed habitats, potentially increasing their risk of predation. Though timber rattlesnakes usually mate during late summer, females can delay fertilization until the spring, beginning a period of reduced movement and fasting that will last until late summer or fall. After carefully incubating their young all summer, they find a sheltered place, often a log or a rock crevice, in which to give birth. Though it takes a female seven to ten years to reach maturity, timber rattlesnakes only have seven or eight offspring on average, and most will only breed once or twice in their lives. Females are therefore very invested in these babies and will stay with them until they undergo their first shed, offering some parental protection. What happens during this time is still somewhat of a mystery, but we used game cameras to watch the activity of rattlesnake mothers and their babies during our research. Remarkably, it appears that while mom stays home most of the time, the babies regularly go out and explore. Perhaps this gives them a safe way to begin learning their local landscape with a central shelter to return to as needed. Our two females, Lucy and Ethel, both gave birth in this log, but neither emerged for nearly two weeks. However, every night their babies would come out one by one and vanish into the forest, only to return a few hours later. What they did and where they went on these little excursions is a mystery. Eventually, the babies shed their skin and then dispersed out into the forest for good. Mom's role in protecting her young may not yet be over, as these babies can actually follow their mother's scent trail to find a safe place to overwinter. Research into rattlesnake sociality has even shown that siblings can recognize and will preferentially associate with each other even after years apart. Though they have a reputation as cold, unfeeling creatures, it turns out that rattlesnakes are outstanding mothers that spend many months carefully protecting their young. We're just starting to scratch the surface in understanding how complex rattlesnake social lives are, but it's clear that family dynamics are very important for timber rattlesnakes.